for example, 6, uh, here we're going to get away from our law signs a little bit, but you can use the law signs to actually figure out your area of this oblique triangle. Uh, before, when you're able to have a right triangle, you just use 1 half times your base times your height. But here, for example, 6, you need to use a formula where your area is equal to 1 half times your two sides times the sine of your included angle. And remember, an included angle is an angle that is between two sides. So if we want to solve this equation, this is just, you know, you draw your picture like I have here, and you're going to plug in your values. So we're going to say area equals one half times one of your sides, which we can say is 18, and our other side, which is going to end up being 24. And then we take the sine of A, which is 80 degrees. And unfortunately, I actually messed up up here. You don't want the sine of A, you want the sine of C. C times B, or B times C. There we go. So you take your side B, side C, and multiply it by the sine of 80 degrees. And when you do that, you find out that your area ends up becoming 212.7 meters. And that is how you find the area of an oblique triangle.